Hi, we're Derek and Jonathan. And this is Cuyahoga Valley National Park. Our 35th National Park. So, where is Cuyahoga Valley? It's in America. Sure, but where exactly? Cuyahoga Valley National Park is in Northeast Ohio, right between Cleveland and Akron. It follows the Cuyahoga River and preserves a stretch of natural beauty in an otherwise industrial region. But first, while in Northern Ohio, we couldn't pass up the opportunity to stop at a different kind of park, Cedar Point. After a thrilling day at Cedar Point, we were ready for something more peaceful, Cuyahoga Valley National Park. Our first stop was the Boston Mills Visitor Center, the perfect place to start any visit to the park. Here, we learned more about the park's history, grabbed some trail maps, and got a feel for the area before heading out to explore. How are you the only one in the display room? <laughs> yeah, that's pretty cool. So why is Cuyahoga Valley a national park? It wasn't always this beautiful. Back in the 60s, the Cuyahoga River was so polluted it actually caught fire. It sparked a huge movement for environmental restoration. After years of conservation efforts, the river and the surrounding valley were cleaned up, bringing back wildlife and turning it into a natural escape. And in 2000, it officially became a national park, preserving this restored landscape. America's byway, where all the bisexuals go. <laughs> Our next stop was one of the park's most famous attractions, Brandywine Falls. With a 65-foot drop and surrounded by lush greenery, it's definitely a must-see. Anyway, there's quite a few waterfalls here in Cuyahoga. There's Blue Hen Falls, they have their own Bridal Veil Falls. We'll see how many we're able to check out while we're here. And Unlike most national parks, you can actually bring your dogs on a leash on almost all the trails here in Cuyahoga. Now we're headed to the ledges. I think it's just a bunch of ledges, but it looks pretty cool. I don't know, we'll see. It's a, one of the main areas to see here, so it's got to be worth seeing. Again, dogs are out. The highlight of our trip was definitely hiking the ledges. These massive rock formations and the views they offer were beyond what we expected. The Ledges Trail is one of the most scenic spots in Cuyahoga Valley National Park. These towering rock formations were created over 300 million years ago. At that time, this whole area was covered by a giant inland sea. Eventually, layers of sand and sediment settled on the seafloor, compacting into sandstone. The unique ledges you see today were carved out through centuries of erosion and weathering, creating the cliffs and narrow passageways we're walking through. But it's not just the geology that's impressive here. The moss and ferns clinging to the rocks, the towering trees above, and the cool, damp air in the crevices give this place a mysterious, almost ancient feel. The Ledges Trail is about two miles long and takes you through this rocky wonderland, offering plenty of chances to explore small caves, hidden nooks, and even the occasional sign of wildlife. The Ledges is known for hosting a large variety of owls. So you can see owls here, and we can definitely hear them talking to each other. Oh, that's close. That's close. We heard them clearly, but never actually saw them. There's also a nearby overlook that offers a panoramic view of the Cuyahoga Valley. It's especially beautiful at sunset. Good morning, good morning. We are here camped outside of Cuyahoga Valley National Park. And we just noticed that every time the wind blows, a big puff of pollen comes out of these pine trees here. I don't know if you can see that right there. It looks like a steady stream of stuff just coming off of there. Not the place to be if you've got allergies this time of year. Today we are doing the Blue Hen Falls Trail. <laughs> it's right from the visitor center where we were the other day. So we're back. 
The hike to Blue Hen Falls from the visitor center is about one and a half miles each way, with a total elevation gain of almost 600 feet. So we haven't actually made it to Blue Hen Falls yet, but so far... We're only half mile in. Right. But so far, the ledges trail is much nicer, much quieter. Like, you actually feel like you're out in the woods. Like here, and you probably can't see it, but there is a highway right there. You can surely hear the cars and trucks driving by. <laughs> go to the ledges. If you can only go to one place, stop at the visitor center, right? Yes. Check out the visitor center, see what it's all about. It is actually a really nice visitor center. They redid that mill building. It's all nice, yes. brand new inside. It's multi level, unexpected. If you Maybe. have time to go biking or kayaking, go down the river. Yeah, that looks cool. Even walking around the river near the visitor center was really cool. Most of the elevation gain for this trail is on the way back, coming up these stairs. Oh my god. We've reached the real apex of the hike here. Next to this, I don't know, sewage pit, road, with traffic, mind you, and warehouse. This is no bueno. Not my favorite. I feel like I'm walking home from school. Wait. Alright, you follow the telephone poles until this sign, and then you carefully cross the street and resume your wilderness retreat. I made it rhyme, you hear that? That was pretty good. At only 15 feet high, Blue Hen Falls isn't the most impressive waterfall we've ever seen, but it's still beautiful and worth a visit. So, if you're ever in Ohio, make sure to add Cuyahoga Valley National Park to your list. It's a mix of peaceful hiking, beautiful waterfalls, and hidden geological gems like the ledges. And if you're a thrill seeker, you can always start your trip with some roller coasters at Cedar Point. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe to follow our adventures in real time. Bye. Bye.